Hey everyone, Steph here and welcome to Little Cities Overview. As you can see, quite a few changes happened. Long story short, last weekend I lost my glasses in Subway and I feel like I'm too lazy to get a new pair. So essentially I transitioned to the contact lenses at least for now. But then here, like my glasses were holding my microphone, so I'll have to figure it out a new setup to record. But hey, at least you won't see a blue reflection in the screen. So Little Cities is a city building simulator built from ground up for Quest platform. I'm pretty sure everyone will compare it to Cities VR though. I don't believe it's gonna be the same game all over. I'm a firm believer that anything developed from zero to the fully realized project is gonna be better all across the board comparing to other ports or versions from different platforms. I do feel like I'm gonna enjoy Little Cities way more and it's not necessarily because it seems simpler and easier to understand but at least here we have an actual VR mechanics. Choosing the concrete buildings and actually being able to place them wherever we want. Not placing our hopes in RNG or in the zones. Also things seem more compact so you have less area to focus on but but then you can pay attention to actually what's going on in your city. I do wish it would release before Cities VR honestly. Not sure if postponing it past the showcase was worth it, but I guess Andreans was very confident in their project and I guess let's see if it was a good decision. Oh, that's a very cute menu. <laughs> We're like in the city and we select our own island. Fun! And we're here. <laughs> Point at the ground with your dominant hand and hold the grab button to move the world beneath you. Very fast. Very precise, okay. Push the stick left or right to rotate on the spot. Yeah. Grab the ground and push the stick left or right to orbit around the cursor. Wow. Push the stick up or down to scale the world around you. Mm -hmm. This is your seapot, the starting place for your city. Pop the building bubble with your finger to start building. Oh! See, that's what I'm talking about. Just having VR mechanics like that that you touch and just do stuff with your own hands. Press the trigger button and drag in a line to extend a road from your seaport. I guess let's do like a main one. Yeah, up to the beach, why not? You can unequip the selected tool by popping the tool bottle with your finger on the opposite hand. Okay, it's very simple to understand. Your city needs some houses. Select residential housing from the build menu. Grid squares next to roads can be zoned. Press the trigger button over a grid area to build some houses. Okay, so it's literally the same like in Cities VR. I thought you can build your own buildings though. Build a wind turbine to provide power for your city. We're literally starting with just the same concept all over. Build your wind turbine next to the coastline to maximize the efficiency. Yeah, now I see why I built this road here. Build a water tower to provide water for your city. It's very simple to understand so far, like, I don't do this connection bullshit and just confusing stuff. I'll build it... Aha. Uh -huh. I like that you have this percentage over the efficiency you'll get from the building. Your city needs industry to provide jobs. Select the interest in zoning. This city so far is pretty wonky in a way that it totally does not look like a city. Stuff is building, there's already a problem on the road. Information about the city. Oh, so we have statistics actually. Bank balance, power, happiness, water. It seems like things are a little bit simplified, but essentially it provides what you actually need to know. Not with just flat numbers. The police department is now available in the build menu. Place one in your seat to help protect from crime. So statistics is on the wrist and then building you just turn it. You have a radius for the buildings. Yeah, let's do in the middle. Yay, protected. <laughs> Keep growing your city to reach level 10. Use your smartwatch to check that your population is happy and that you are satisfying the demand. <laughs> oh wait, level 10. It's two now. Oof, that's a lot. I guess I'll expand the road to just different directions. I like that it, it automatically deletes stuff. I don't need to just 
fiddle around with controls. Do maybe like a side road, some settlements on the coast. Yo, the building is so easy here. Look at what I created already. It's just so simple. You focus on just the building and nothing else. Like it's really not that hard. <laughs> I don't know why I struggled with this VR. I think it's just all about the controls and how you handle it. You essentially want to focus on that and not just struggle <laughs> you don't want to put like houses next to factories but you can put like commercial buildings in between them to just fill the space i think i'm done with the building essentially i just wait for the funds to come control the situation with just what's going on the road seemed a little bit packed maybe i should do like a split from the port here to do like a circle. Everything goes from the port to just the other parts of the city. The water seems all stable, the power... I mean, it's just one power plant. But it's working. Cell tower provides network connectivity, sight upsets you by residents. Wow, it's not that bad, okay? <laughs> okay! <laughs> if you need it. <laughs> that was sudden. Let's build it on the commercial zone to cover everything but no one will be upset perfect city i'm speed running this game but damn there's no power <laughs> where can i place this it's set on the coast but then people will be upset but yeah you'll have energy at least this seems to be a good place i'm gonna lose industrial but yeah it's worth it everything kind of has to be in this area to cover Whole island, which I'm fine with it. <laughs> Where's the crime? <laughs> the cars are actually letting him pass. What? That doesn't even happen in real life. Things are stable. <laughs> Balloons popping. It tells us we don't have enough buildings that can be fixed real fast. Housing on the coastline. How about that? Okay, well, I'll stop it here, but. It's very cute. <laughs> like you clearly see the difference between Cities VR and this one. It's just more peaceful. You focus on the building. Don't struggle with anything. The game tells you what you should do and what's wrong. I have like absolutely no notes about it. Will this be something that you'll see on the channel though? I'm not quite sure. I'll keep it just to see the updates or what developers will bring. Hey. <laughs> Go. Seize that fire. <laughs> Okay, crisis averted. City building is not necessarily made for, you know, constant video making, but it's very fun project. And I find myself here so much better than the previous game. Maybe I'll do one more video in the future to see like how I progress throughout the game. Like there's a long way to stage 10 and we unlock buildings based on that. And then the demand grows on things and just things get complicated. But yeah, I very much enjoy it.